Right, so in this video, we're revisiting the two-stroke in diesel. And in this particular look at this mixture, we want to know, does it stay mixed, this two-stroke and diesel? Does it stay together or will the two-stroke just separate and drop to the bottom? So we need to get some diesel, which we're going to get out the Kubota ride on. This is just standard diesel. I think it was Asda. Nothing special, nothing added to it, just plain old boring diesel. The two-stroke is a red, cheap, mineral-based two-stroke. I think this would be totally different if I tried this experiment using the synthetic two-stroke. So this is the mineral two-stroke, which is what uh, people advise you to use if you're doing this sort of thing. But obviously, be aware of tank dipping and if the diesel's coloured red, um, people are going to get a bit suspicious. So buy the blue two-stroke mineral oil if you are interested in doing this. It's, um, it is available, blue, not red. So, there is our diesel, nice yellowy golden, and we're going to put the mineral two-stroke in now. I'm not interested in um, ratios of mixture here. We just want to get the stuff in and get it mixed up. So if you imagine pouring this into your tank and then driving, probably a bit of a bad idea. But if you pour it in first in your tank and then pour your diesel, top your tank up, it's gonna mix and you're not gonna have a lump of two-stroke at the bottom of the tank. But I imagine with driving, it's all gonna mix up. It does take a little bit of mixing, as you can see here. So that is a fair bit of mixing to get it going. and get it, get it mixed up. My belief was that after a certain amount of time that this would, you'd get a clearer uh, level of diesel at the top and a more reddish coloring of the two stroke at the bottom. But let's have a look. What I did, I looked at this over eight days and then left the glass in my garage on a shelf. In fact, actual fact, I forgot about it. So I dug it out today and you do get a two month on look at this so the glass was just on a shelf in the garage for two months so we'll have a look at that right at the end of this video so really this is day one uh, I did leave it for a few hours and just check to see what was going on but as you can see not much really changes here this just sort of goes on and on um, it's interesting this stuff because I always thought that the two-stroke would, would separate. I've read forums where uh, people have said that they, they know a mechanic, works in a garage, and they're getting more cars, vans, etc., with two-stroke in the bottom of the tanks. So this is what spurred me on to do this experiment. I believe what really was, is happening is that people are putting synthetic two-stroke in, and that, I doubt, mixes with the diesel or it does and then separates out. So yeah, really interested to see what goes on, what goes on. You gotta imagine that your diesel tank is like a massive washing machine really. When, when you're driving around, the stuff's splashing around, it's constantly mixing. Whatever's in the tank is getting mixed up unless it's heavy deposits on the bottom of the tank. But in general, when you start driving, you're constantly mixing. Uh, that would be an interesting video, putting a GoPro inside a, a tank, probably safer than a diesel and the petrol, but maybe that's something we should think about. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We're going to roll on now and we're going to go and look at the uh, days um, just to see any change in this, this liquid colour. So don't expect amazing results, but it is interesting. It's worth watching. Stay tuned and stay tuned right to the end. Day one, done. And here we go, day two, hardly, I can't see any change. Light levels are different, I've put the garage lights on, but look at it, day three. Again, can you see the difference? I can't. This glass has stayed here, I haven't moved it at all, I haven't mixed it again, it's just stayed there, day four. 
You probably at this point know how this is going to end, but keep watching day five. Day six. Uh, the only additional thing we've got in there is a dead moth and some bits of dust on the top of that glass but that is sat up there for two months in the garage not moving not mixing not doing anything so there we go it's still the two-stroke is well suspended in the diesel I imagine that you could leave this for a year I might do it I might just leave the glass in the garage and look at it a year on but that is it. It stays. It stays mixed. I think what I might do is get some uh, synthetic, fully synthetic two-stroke and do this test and do another video. But I hope you like watching this video. Um, have a look. If you haven't seen the first video I did, have a look at that. I'll leave a link for that video at the end of this one. So don't forget to rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on another video.